a barely habitable burnt corner of earth, parched and sun-drenched. Once the sun is set and temperatures drop, the nighttime wilderness becomes a very dangerous place. Danger lurks in the form of a sharpened spike loaded with toxic venom. It could be waiting anywhere, under a rock, in your shoe, or even in your bed. These are scorpions. Scorpions have been around for over 400 million years. They've seen the rise and the fall of the mighty dinosaur and will probably outlast mankind. They can survive massive doses of radiation and are protected by their hard outer skeleton. Armed with their toxic tail and crushing claws, they wait for the sun to go down before they start their search for prey. There are almost 2,000 species of scorpion, differing in size, habitat, and the toxicity of their venom. Babylonian astrologers included the scorpion in their zodiac during the Bronze Age. People born under the sign are thought of as aloof and vengeful. In Greek mythology, Scorpius was a giant scorpion sent by the earth goddess Gaia to slay the giant Orion. Some of the most deadly species of scorpion are found in North Africa. During the day, they seek out quiet, dark hiding places. Although scorpions have several pairs of tiny eyes which are spread all over their bodies, it is the minuscule hairs that cover their legs which help them hunt. The hairs pick up even the most subtle of vibrations, helping the scorpion to determine the location of its prey and the direction it is moving, preparing it to be ready to strike with its venom-injecting barb. Its tough vice-like pincer claws are used in defense and to crush their victims. The rocks and stones of the underground come alive as the silent scorpions come out in search of their prey of spiders and insects. Most human fatalities are children who are more vulnerable to their venom. The scorpion is not dangerous to humans because it is aggressive, but because of its desire to seek out dark places and shelters to hide in during the day. Nearly all attacks on humans are in self-defense. Most scorpions are solitary and will attempt to kill and eat other scorpions that invade their territory. Venomous scorpions tend to have weaker looking pincers and thin bodies. Their strength lies with the toxins in their tail. Most accidental stings to humans are on the hand or foot, occurring when a scorpion is disturbed while hiding in crevices or burrows. Scorpions kill over 3,000 people every year. The venom of these small killers can be compared to that of the king cobra. Both are neurotoxins, fast acting and bring about death by heart and respiratory failure in their victims. Out of the 2,000 species of scorpion, roughly 25 of them are deadly to humans. It's no wonder that these prehistoric creatures are one of the most feared in all of the animal kingdom. In amongst the desert cactus and dried earth is the scorpion's next meal. Scurrying across the ground, its deadly weapons are ready to strike. Tough claws grasp at the victim. The syringe-like barb of the scorpion's tail pierces its prey and injects the fast-acting neurotoxin. Its molecules are rapidly absorbed, attacking the central nervous system and paralyzing the nerves that control breathing. Venom is delivered with surgical precision, paralyzing its prey in an instant. Once paralyzed, the scorpion emits its stomach juices onto the prey, sucking up the liquefied food with the victim still clamped between its mighty claws. Some species of scorpions can live up to 10 years in these harsh environments, equipped with the weapons to survive. Scurrying back into darkness is the scorpion the most dangerous predator on land. 